Hey Chopper, this viewer's not subscribed. Cardi Kaizoku. So we can patch the OP TCG sim now? Say what? Yes, that's right, Batsu has made it possible to patch the sim now. No more having to re-download the 700 megabyte zip file every time a new version is released. So this video will be going over how to do it in case some of you are not as tech savvy, right? You might get stuck. So watch me do it. You won't get lost. <laughs> uh, I believe so far it only works for Windows. And then if you guys do need a guide on how to get the sim in the first place, I do have a full OPTCG sim guide as a separate video that I made a while back. I'll link it in the description below too. Alright, as always, I like to go to Batsu's link tree to get the newest version of the sim. So yeah, you can get to it from typing in link ter.ee forward slash mybatsu. I have it linked on the description below and I'll put it on screen too. So yeah, what you have to do is just click this OPTCG sim latest versions link here. It'll take you to Dropbox. And then here is the versions of the sim that are available for you to download. And again, if you're on Android or Linux or some other system, he does have the full versions of the downloads here, but we're going to show off the patcher here. It's a new file here that we can download. We're going to download it and you just click continue with download only if you don't have a Dropbox account. So once you have your zip file downloaded, you just extract it with your extracting tool of choice. And then once unzipped, we'll take a look what's inside. There's going to be a patcher data folder. This will have the new cards and new bug fixes to the sim included in here. And then the click me to patch bat file. This is what you'll click to actually patch your sim. We'll even take a look at the readme so you can read what Batsu wrote here. Hi, welcome to a hopefully much more convenient way to update your sim to the next version. Simply put all of the files in this zip into the same folder as your 1.22a executable file. So you should see click me to patch and the patch your data folder in the same place as your current executable. Then run the click me to patch batch file. You should see the patcher copying a bunch of card files and then end with a press any key to continue message. Once that is finished, just go up one folder level to find your new 1.22b sim folder. If everything is working correctly, you can delete your old 1.22a version. It sticks around for now just in case. Yeah, I'm guessing in the future release, it'll just delete the old version once like he's confident that it patches correctly. All right, so we'll do what the readme said. We'll take these two files here. We'll control X to cut, or you could just drag it if you have the other folder open in another window. And then we'll go to our 1.22a folder, which is the old version of the sim that we want to update. Go into the builds windows folder. We'll paste these two files here because this is where the executable file for the sim is, right? And then we just double click, click me to patch to patch the sim. So a command window will pop up. It'll do its thing. And we get that press any key to continue prompt here. So we just do what it says, press any key. So at this point, after it patched, as the readme said, we just go up one level. So from the build windows folder, you go up one level. That'll take you to here. And we do see the 1.22b folder here. We'll go into that folder and check if everything moved over correctly. So let's check if our decks moved over. Yep, these look like my decks. About the custom images, we'll look at streaming assets. Okay, my deck edit background is here. My background is here. Playmats. Yep, all my playmats are here. My custom Dawn. Yep, my Dawn is here. Okay. So the files look okay. Let's start the sim up and see if everything runs correctly. Just to verify if everything patched. So we're starting at the sim, new logo, very nice. Right, uh, so this screen looks fine. My custom background is here. We'll take a look at if the new cards added show up. We'll look at, uh, what is it? An OP08 card, 20 doctors. Right, we're going to pick the most boring card to look up to check if the patch worked. Yep, here it is. 20 doctors. We see it here, so that part worked. We do like a self game just to see if everything is loading correctly. So yeah, images work fine. Mulligan, mulligan, and turn, and turn. Play Sengoku search. Okay, yeah. This looks like it's working to me. We'll back out of here. And one quick thing that I want to point out is that in the settings tab, 
there is this setting here to keep both players' names hidden during multiplayer matches. That's a feature I asked for, so thank you, Batsu. This is uh, something that really only helps uh, content creators in hiding names, but yeah, in case you guys didn't know, this feature is here. It's here if you need it. Yeah, I would say that we have patched successfully, and that means we can just go back to the 1.22a folder. Honestly, I would just copy this into another folder. But we'll take the 1.22b folder and we'll put it where we put all of our sim versions. Oh, I have the program open, so I can't do that. One second. Yep, and then since we're confident that 1.22b works, we can just delete 1.22a. And then you can just delete the patch or two. We don't need it anymore. But yeah, that is how to patch your sim to the newest version instead of downloading the 700 megabyte file every time it, it was just like an 8 megabyte file this time very quick and i'm pretty sure we're not going to run into the issues where the uh, google drive hits that download quota with the 8 megabyte file so yeah shout out batsu again for continually updating the sim in this way check out his patreon support him there and i hope this video was helpful for you okay bye Cardi Kaizoku.